Hello friends, myself Professor Prathamish Indulkar and today I will teach you the basics of computer network. This subject is there for SYBSEIT that is for semester 3. Today we will go through the basic concept of the switching from the subject of computer network. Now the basic thing is that network computer we are very much familiar with. Network stands for connection of computer. As you know that you use Facebook, you use Twitter, that means you transfer some data from one point to the another point. When you enter into the field of networking, the basic concept that you are supposed to know the different forms of data, that is you used to transfer the text messages, used to transfer the numbers, videos, audios and images. So these five types of data transfer can be done through the help of networking okay so according to this if i wanted to classify the networks or if i wanted to classify the switching there will be three types of switching the first one is called as circuit switching okay the second one is called as packet switching and the third one is called as message switching fine out of that, I will focus today on the circuit switching. What is mean by circuit switching? How it is used and how it is set up. Now what is the main aim behind all these switching techniques? Fine. When we started using the telephone, there are several lines that is called as a wired communication. Then we move on to the mobile network, then it is called as a wireless communication. But if I consider the backbone of any system, it will be always a wire communication. Okay. So even though if you do not see any wires anywhere, that doesn't mean everything is wireless. When I talk about any communication, the backbone will be always a wired communication. So looking into this, there are three types, circuit, packet and message switching. Out of these three, okay, the circuit and packet is used widely and somehow this message switching is not used. So that's why we focus majorly on circuit and packet. In that packet switching also we have virtual circuit and datagram approach. So out of the various types we have circuit, packet, in the packet we have virtual circuit and the datagram approach. Now quickly I will go through the circuit switching. Now what is this diagram? This diagram tells us there are several users. 1, 2, 3, 4, they are my users. 5, 6, 7, 8, they are my users. The 1, 2, 3, 4, they are at one place and all 5, 6, 7, 8, they are different places. Now if I wanted to consider the wired communication, the basic wired communication, if any one person from this group wanted to communicate with any one person from this group, then I need that wires connected in between them. That is the major drawback. If you consider there are 1000 users, then 1000 wires. But I cannot restrict myself on 1000. There are millions of users everywhere. Can you imagine millions of wires connected everywhere? Okay, so you will see wires everywhere which are communicating actually. But the thing is that to avoid this drawback, we always go for the circuit switching. Now what happens in circuit switching? There will be some switches. Okay, these are the smart devices. What is their purpose? They are used to connect these devices. Now not necessary that the every switch will have the wire connected through all the users. There will be a network of switches. Like here, one switch is there. That is for 1, 2, 3, 4 user. There is one more switch. That is for 5th and 6th. And there is one more switch for 7 and 8. If, let's take an example. The user 1 wanted to communicate with user 8. Now if you see, there is no direct communication between 1 and 8. But if you wanted to establish a communication, there are three phases of circuit switching. Okay. And these three phases are setup phase, data transfer phase and tear down phase. Quickly I will go through this. What is setup, data transfer and what is meant by tear down. So setup stands for the basically if I am calling someone, that means I wanted to communicate, I wanted to share, I wanted to transfer some data. That is something called as the setup phase. If the person 1 wants it to communicate with person 8 that means initially he wanted to set up this actual communication. So he will initiate it transfer 
all switches which are in between 1 and 8 they need to agree on their connection if any switch is not agree on the communication data transfer will not take place fine the basic thing is that if they wanted to communicate whatever switches are in between they need to share the data and they need to be connected so the first phase is setup phase a line will be established between these two it's similar to the whatever line line connection which we are using in our landline, in our telephone connection, that is the wire communication, they always follow the circuit switching. There will be multiple wires connected, but at a time, only one wire will be activated. So, let's take an example. Setup is done. After setup, they need to do the data transfer. Now, the data transfer can be anything. Initially only, I told you there are five types of data. That is, there will be text, there will be audio, video, images and numbers. So this file type of data can be transferred easily with this connected wire. And the thing is that if I wanted to terminate the connection, there is something called as a teardown. Now teardown is can be done by anyone. If one want to stop the communication or eight want to stop the communication, anyone can initiate with the teardown. After teardown, there will not be any connection between one and eight. And if in case they wanted to communicate again, then again they have to go through these three phases okay that is the majorly the setup phase data transfer phase and tear down phase every time if you wanted to go for circuit switching there should be these three steps followed apart from that there is something called as a packet switching and in that packet switching we have virtual and datagram approach i'll just quickly introduce you with the packet switching in packet switching we have something called as a packets now what is this packet Initially, if I wanted to communicate with one person, I used to write him a letter and that letter will be drafted in one packet having sender address, receiver address and then it is get transferred. The same thing is utilized over here. In packet switching, your entire data is divided in the form of packets. These packets will have their sender address, their receiver address and whatever the data inside it. Okay. So in that packet switching, we will have the virtual circuit and datagram approach. So in this lecture, what I taught you basically, I'll cover you what is meant by circuit switching, what are the types of switching available. If you still want a more guidance and more queries, you can definitely join our classes Vidyalankar at our Dadar branch or anywhere. Thank you so much.